So some people have asked um, about the uh, own trailers and how they connect to the truck. Well, if you're at the um, depot, you can actually drive onto the little thing I think and do it that way, but I'll just do it quickly through the menu. Um, pick the current side. I can't pick this one because it's a B-double and it won't let me connect because I'm uh, currently in the UK. But if I click use, it will attach the trailer directly to the truck. You can see it starts like that. It does respawn you so you don't end up in a silly place with it. Um, to drop the trailer, uh, it's as easy as uh, going back into the trailer manager and clicking park trailer and it will automatically park the trailer for you. It doesn't matter where you are, you can do it in the middle of a motorway if you really want to. <laughs> but you can just park the trailer that quickly and simply. Um, however, if you're not at your garage, I'm just going to quickly move the truck, put it down here, and the pond, out the way. And if I try and take it from here, it should, one thing, there we go. As you can see there, it says it's waiting for me in Sheffield, so if I come around here, you can see I haven't spawned with the trailer on, the trailer is over here at my depot waiting for me and I have to go pick it up. So um, depending on where you are, um, it will depend whether the trailer connects or not. If you're at your garage, um, it will uh, spawn with it. If you're not, you will have to go and pick it up. So just bear that in mind if you are in, um, say, a different country to where the trailers are. Is it will require you to go pick it up. I mean, obviously you can cheat. If I was to um, drop my truck here, the trailer will connect just like it would on a regular drive. It will automatically connect. So, if you're a bit lazy, you can always do it that way. But uh, yeah, that's uh, the quick basics then on how the trailer connects. And um, while I'm here, I will quickly show the uh, cargo market. As you can see, we now have this option here. Quick jobs, freight market and external contracts all work exactly the same as they used to do. But we now have a cargo specific market for people who have owned trailers. Um, if you have a trailer and it's not connected, um, it will be greyed out. You have to have the trailer connected to be able to pick up um, a cargo because obviously there's different types of trailers, like refrigerated for example, which obviously pull different cargo to a curtain cider. So it won't, the option won't be there until you actually have a trailer connected so it knows what cargo to give you. Um, as you can see there's nice little pictures then, we've got these little um, rice baskets, um, precast stairs, tiles, uh, non-alcoholic beer tires, all these sort of things. They're very nice images, I actually like how they've done this, um, I think it's a really nice option. So we'll just uh, scroll through them and see what you want. I'll just pick one so you can see what the loading screen looks like. Um, that's the longest, is it? No, it's not. Um, I'll just pick this one. It doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, Transinet's just around the corner. Um, I'm colour blind. I'm not sure whether that's red or green. If anyone can tell me, just let me know. Um, <laughs> If we just come around here, where are we going? Uh, let's cut that one, that's why. Did I just cut the engine? I have not done Never mind. Wonderful thing to do when you're recording live here. So I'll just stop on there, you can see we can pick up the cargo. As I said, this works very similar to... Um, I'm not going to put the part in, so I just can't put it do it this way. You can, um, I think the option is there, I'm just going to have a look, we may as well find out. Will it allow me to do it this way? Yeah. Just like parking a trailer, then you can actually uh, skip it and just click enter, which is fine. And this is the screen you get when you're loading up. It's just a little uh, um, thing to show that um, the trailer's loading and a little passage of time as well. Unfortunately, there's no uh, real cut screen or animation to it. Um, I'm just going to go to our den so you can see the, uh, oops, so you can see the uh, unload option. Um, unlike the loading option, there really isn't anything to uh, uh, look at, but I know people will be interested. Uh, just put that 
trailer down here. Unlike the normal trailers, you don't want to touch the trailer because it's ours. So we just press enter to end the job. And it just goes straight to this screen. It cuts it out entirely. Um, I do think it adds a little bit of time on for the unloading. Um, I honestly don't remember. From this screen, you can either go back. If you click continue, you'll go back to your truck and you can run empty. Or you can go straight into here and look for uh, available jobs on the prefab you're at. So if I was to um, drop here, is it loaded me? I think it's probably loaded. Yeah, it's already loaded me automatically. Uh, time has passed on as well. Um, in fact, it's a very um, mess if I can see that. Um, so it automatically loads if you do it that way. So I can just start going now off to um, the company if I really wanted to. But yeah, I uh, apologize for sounding a bit rushed and uh, a little uh, fritzy today. I've literally only been up about an hour and uh, within uh, 10 minutes of me getting up they told us that the Empire was it. So this is as rushed as it sounds in my voice. So I apologize if I've been a bit uh, sparse on some things or um, not explain things as well as I normally would have but uh, this is a bit of a rushed video.